Hello, thanks for coming by the video today guys. I'm going to try to make it really short. Um, this is for people who have a Ledger wallet or a Tezos wallet. Uh, initially when the testnet came out you weren't able to stake. These wallets were actually not accepted. But now using your ROI, so not data list, you have to download your ROI. It's going to be the first link in the description down below. You can now t stake in the Shelly testnet. So uh, first off you're going to need the code that you use when you set up your hardware wallet. Um, so just make sure you have that handy. So then after you download this, it'll be real quick, you'll have a little Chrome extension right here. You can click that. So when you come here, uh, I already have a wallet set up, so it's not going to show this page for you guys. It's going to show uh, three little buttons right here. It's going to say New Wallet, Recover Wallet. Uh, I'm, what I'm going to do for this video is going to have you uh, go ahead and click a New Wallet. So then when you click New Wallet, it's going to ask you to name the wallet and then uh, write down that recovery phrase and then make a spending password. So then write down the recovery phrase, write down the spending password, make sure you guys have that safe because that's where all of your test net ADA is going to go. So then once you have that step done, you're going to have this wallet open just like this, but it's going to say zero balance because you haven't recovered your ADA yet. So then once you're here, you're going to want to come over here to this little icon in the top right hand corner. And then once you're here, you're going to want to, so you see these are from Daedalus wallets. You don't want to do that. You're going to want to go to transfer funds from another wallet. And then once you're here, so if you have a legacy or a oil paper wallet, you're just going to click this and then, uh, or a legacy ledger hardware wallet, you're going to click that. So then this is where you're going to type in that phrase that I was telling you about. You're going to type it in right here and then you're going to, it's going to ask you to uh, recover it after you type in your phrase and then it's going to show you like the checksum. Um, just make sure that the, the new wallet that you have and then just accept it and then it'll transfer in the money from the ledger into the new wallet that I had you create at the beginning of the video. So then also there is the legacy Trezos or Trezor hardware wallet. Sorry, I don't have one of those, so I'm not too sure how to pronounce it. But uh, once you open this up, it's the same thing. Um, and they mentioned this, I might as well mention it in the video because it is important. Um, it is risky to write down this wallet in case someone would not write it down but to enter into this computer in case someone had a key logger on your computer or someone was watching so be careful in case you have any other funds on that hardware wallet um, so then you can just type it in again and it's going to be the same thing as the ledger wallet you're going to type it in it's going to ask you to uh, just to verify and then you're going to click yes it might take um, five to ten minutes it might take 30 seconds it has been a little better lately but the network's been a little shoddy, as you can see here on uh, Ada Pools. But so then, once you have your Ada, so now you're ready to go. You can finally stake in the Shelly testnet. Um, everything is great now because I was worried that people weren't going to be able to stake if they forgot to move their Ada off of their hardware wallets. So once you have your Ada all ready to go, if you guys would like to stake to my pool, I would really appreciate it. But you don't have to. Uh, my my pool has low fees. It's uh, five percent, which is pretty standard. I do have to keep up server costs as they are very expensive. So what you can do is you can type in pay, and I should come right up. You can see that as my it's my YouTube channel, and then uh, you've got to wait for it to search. So then you can see it right here: pay ADA stake pool. Um, it's been doing really well lately. Uh, I'm really happy. I really appreciate the support that you guys have all given me. But all you got to do is click delegate and then um, you just got to confirm it and then it'll charge you a little small fee. But it is, remember, it is testnet ADA, so the fee doesn't even matter. And then you'll start earning rewards. And as you can see with, um, with this little wallet right here, I just have a little staking wallet. Uh, it's already earned a, a good amount of rewards. And um, I mean, that's pretty crazy to me. I mean, that's a high percentage but yeah after you guys click stake it'll take a little bit and then you can click dashboard and then you guys can see that you're staked to me right here but if you guys have any questions about this process or you run into any issues or questions about any other type of the process like how stake pools work or um, you have issues connecting to my stake pool just free feel to feel free to comment down below um, but yeah if you guys want to support me i've got some stuff down below in the description but staking to my pool would be the best way so thanks for watching the video i hope you guys all have a wonderful day thank you